Hey guys, Sock here from Sock e Tech, and in today's video we are going to be covering five dramatic changes on One UI 3.0 compared to the previous versions. You need to know these differences because they apply to commonly used features, things have moved around and settings have changed, so you might find yourself lost when you're looking for a specific feature on your smartphone, so let's dive in and get started. But before I do that, so here we have the One UI version 3.0 Samsung phone and we have a 2.5 One UI right over here. So we'll compare them directly so you can see all the differences. So let's go to the home and start with the first thing. Now this has to do with power management with your battery management settings. So let's go to the settings right over here on One UI 2.5, the familiar interface. You go all the way down, okay, and you go to your device care. In the past, when you went to your battery, basically all you had to do to switch between various power modes was tap right here, and you just had four simple power modes, as you can see. That is not the case with One UI 3.0. Things have changed. So if I go to my settings over here, and if I go into my device care, tap on it, and tap on battery right over here, you will notice that when I go down, we do not have the power mode, we have a power savings mode. So when I click on it, I don't actually get options, I just have one mode. When I enable this mode, all these three things kick in, as long as they're enabled. So right now, if I tap on power mode, it's going to enable these three settings, and it's gonna start saving me some battery life. If I disable this, I can undo this, and now when I enable this, only these two features are gonna activate to save battery life. Now you can see that uh, that is quite different than this one. In fact, over here, if you go to medium power savings mode, you are able to access those settings right here as you can see. So this power savings mode actually is the same thing as the medium power savings mode. You can see we have turn off always on display here and here, limit CPU usage here and here, and then the brightness option right over here with a newer option right over here. That is quite interesting. So what if you want to access these other settings right here? So for example, the high performance mode has completely been removed from this area and now it is in quick toggles and the name of that mode is also changed over to enhanced processing. So if I go over here, it should be here. There it is. So if I click on this one, this enables enhanced processing. If I click the text, you'll see this gives you the maximum performance, just like this guy right here. So this and this is the same thing. Now the other problem we have is we don't have the maximum power savings anymore. It used to be here in One UI 3.0 early betas, and who knows, maybe you have it. I don't have it, but it was appearing in this area under a different name. So you can check to see if it's in here. If you're looking for that, it's either gone or it's gonna be on some One UI 3.0 devices. I do not see it on the S20 Ultra or the Note 20 Ultra as of now with the latest One UI. But the high performance is here as the enhanced processing, okay? So that's number one, that is the power savings mode. Uh, let's move on and talk about the next thing. Before I do that though, I do wanna show you something real quick. If you tap on this button here, that little icon, it gives you some information. Now that has changed, if you tap here, it gives you much more information. Something I just wanted you guys to see. But anyway, let's move on and talk about the edge panels. So, let's go to the settings, okay? Let's go to the settings, let's go to display. Under display, normally we find the edge panels edge panels is supposed to be, so we have it here on One UI 3, tap on it, and then we have it right over here, edge screen, already there's some differences, okay? Now, the edge lighting option, the most popular option, is not here anymore. It's been moved. Now, this right over here allows you to change your lighting effects. You can pick all these different uh, edge panel effects. I'm sure you're aware of these obviously, okay? So you can see that on One UI 2.5, it is bundled with the edge screen, but here we only have edge panels. Now to access those settings, you have to go out into the notifications area. You tap over here, and under brief pop-up settings, you have to tap here, and the edge lighting style is gonna be right here. So when you click it, 
you get that same window that I have right over here, but in a completely different location, which might surprise you and you might think it's gone, but it's right here. So that's another dramatic change. I don't know why they did it. I like the way it was on here, but if you're looking for it, it's gonna be under brief pop-up settings in notifications. And of course, there's also a lot of changes to the actual notifications menu, but that's not one thing I'm gonna cover in this video. I do have a video on that. I'll drop a link down below. You can see the, the complete differences between the two notifications area. Now let's move on and talk about the next thing. Next thing I wanna talk about has to do with Android Auto. Now Android Auto is now built into the phone. So if I go to my settings, if I go to my advanced features, for example, let's go down a little bit, tap on advanced and tap on advanced features. So here you can see the menu is moved around, it's changed a little bit, we have some new options. The biggest one here is gonna be the Android Auto option. When you click on this guy, you'll notice that we have the Android Auto is now built in in Android 11. And also, if you scroll down a little bit, you don't have to download the application anymore to access these settings. They'll be built in on One UI 3.0. And you can do a lot of things right over here. You can even customize your launcher right from here. But if you go down, and if you have a 2021 car that is eligible, you can also do wireless Android Auto right from here. Without cables, it's gonna be fantastic, but that only works uh, with eligible smartphones. All these options are now built in to One UI 3.0, and you can come here, and as you can see, you can modify everything, such as automatically resume media, show me the weather, preview incoming messages, all that stuff is cooked in right here. And if I go back real quick, some other differences under advanced features, we now have Samsung DeX sitting over here. Normally you can find it in the uh, quick toggles menu. It should be uh, somewhere here. We have DeX. That's the same thing we also have here now. So if I tap on this one, uh, it does the same thing as the one in the quick toggle on the top right here, okay, as you can see. For some reason, they added this into advanced features, which makes sense because it is a super advanced feature. All right, the next change I wanna talk about has to do with the actual lock screen. So I got a message from somebody, they were on their regular phone, they got the update to One UI 3.0, and then they were trying to access their face widgets, and they were just going nuts because on One UI 3.0, it appears that you don't have them. So when I swipe over, nothing happens, but here when I swipe over, I have access to all my face widgets, my music controller, and all that good stuff, okay? So I wanted to make sure that you guys know that the face widgets are still here. You simply tap on it. It's now a new interface. It is not a scrolling interface. You tap, it, it expands, and give you all the options. You got your music controller, today's schedule, and also if you go all the way down, you have a settings button, you click on it, put in your fingerprint, and you can modify just like you can do here, but the interface, the way it looks, the way you access it, is now different. I like this one better on One UI 3.0. Tap, expand, access. All right, so let's move on to the next thing. Oh, and one more thing I just want to mention casually is, you know that we now have that music controller on the top right here, which is also expandable, but I do want to let you know there's a little button here you can click, and that's gonna give you even more options. Now, now this button allows you to pick various different outputs for your smartphone. So if you have your Galaxy Buds connected to your phone, if you have a Bluetooth speaker connected to your phone, or any device connected to your phone on which you can play music via the phone, you can come and choose from here. You can see we have the audio output set as this phone, but if there was more devices, they would show up under here you would just click on them and you can just send the sound anywhere that you please. With One UI 2.5, if I try to do the same thing, if I tap here, it expands, but I don't have that button uh, to access that setting 
this little button right here. So even though mostly the One UI 3.0 seems to be a cosmetic change, there are these differences that take things from one location and move them to other locations and in some cases just remove a feature. So I just wanted to make sure that you guys are fully aware of exactly where everything is. If you have any tips and information, just drop a comment down below for others to see. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, also drop them down. And for now, guys, have a fantastic day, all right? All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.